everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal and welcome back to another What Sold video. If you are new to my channel, I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. Every two weeks, I put out a What Sold video going over every single sale that I had. And in today's video, these are sales from November 16th through November 30th of 2022. I feel like I always have to preface that there is some type of noise in the background of my videos. I don't know if you all can hear these noises, but I certainly can, and sometimes it's a little bit distracting. Today's background noise is gust of winds over 40 miles per hour. I thought twice this morning that our roof was going to blow off. I am not a fan of the wind. In fact, I find it very scary, especially when you know power outages happen, possible storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, et cetera, et cetera. But I feel like our new house that we moved into over a year ago is more in a wind zone than our previous house was. But anyway, hopefully it won't be too distracting and we'll get through these numbers as fast as we can. In my last What Sold video, I had zero sales on Mercari, and this time I had one sale on Mercari, but it was kind of a good one. It was a Patricia Nash maroon tweed wallet. This sold in two days for my full asking price of $30. There was a $4.37 fee, giving me a profit of $25.63. I had 13 sales on Poshmark. The first sale on Poshmark was a new with tags Nike dry fit Chicago Cubs short sleeve t-shirt. This came out of one of my thread up men's rescue box and it sold for $15. And I had a feeling that it would sell during football season. I just didn't list it early enough in the season last year for it to sell, but it finally sold. And that was an offer that the customer sent to me. Next is a hat that I sourced off of ThreadUp's Outlet Center. This was under their assorted brands list. I could tell that it was a wool hat or at least a wool blended hat. And when I received it, it was by the brand Shred Alert. I'm not sure if that company is still in existence today, but I did find some sold comparable listings. So this was a Shred Alert gray Aztec band soft brimmed wool blended hat. And it sold for my full asking price of $20. Next is a necklace that I got out of my Goodwill blue box. This was a taupe colored beaded necklace. So like, so taupe is like a grayish brownish color and it was a glass beaded tassel lariat necklace. So this is a necklace that has no clasp or closure and it's not all one circle. It's actually just a long strand. So the way that you wear it is you put it around your neck. If it's long enough, you can wrap it around your neck several times, but if it's not, you just kind of tie it in a little knot. Sometimes there are tassels, but there's always something dangling down below. And this sold for $12 and that was an offer that the customer sent to me. The next sale was a necklace from the brand The Limited. This came out of a Shop Goodwill jewelry lot, just a random lot of usually fashion jewelry. And it was a multi-chain gold tone elephant rhinestone necklace. There were actually three necklaces combined into one. You could you know, wear all three so that they layer down on the chest or you could just wear one. This purchase was actually done by a follower on Instagram. I'm not sure if the buyer is a subscriber on the YouTube channel, but if you are and if you are watching, thank you so much and I hope that you enjoy the necklace. And this sold for $11 with discounted shipping. Next is a new with tags home for the holiday pair cloisonne enamel glitter ornament. Perfect time for people to be purchasing ornaments either as a gift or to put on their own Christmas tree. And it sold for $17 and that was an offer that the customer sent to me. Next is a Zales new in box white lab created sapphire sterling silver necklace. This necklace got a ton of interest on all three platforms, a lot of likes, a lot of watchers, but every time I would send out a discount, it just wasn't quite good enough, I guess. I think this was listed for like a week or a week and a half. It would have been a perfect Christmas gift and it finally sold for $32 with discounted shipping. I was sending some pretty aggressive offers on Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday. So it did sell for a little less than what I wanted, but still very, very happy with that. I just realized I sold a lot of jewelry on Poshmark this time. Next up is an item that came out of my Goodwill blue box again. It was a cream colored feather resin bangle bracelet. 
I don't know if someone had handmade this because there were definitely real feathers in the bangle itself. It was in gently pre-owned condition and it sold for $16, which was my full asking price. Next is a money clip that I got from my Via Trading Amazon jewelry lot. It was a copper colored money clip and it was stamped on the front. For the scrap of money my wonderful daughter hasn't taken. I thought it would be a perfect gift for a dad or a stepdad or even a mom who doesn't want to carry a wallet. Anybody basically. And it sold for $11 with discounted shipping. Next up was a Land's End black and white tropical leaf printed swimsuit dress or cover up. It sold for $22 with discounted shipping. Next is kind of a bolo brand for mugs, like coffee mugs, tea mugs. This brand does do other ceramics as well, but most of, most of the sold comparable listings that I was seeing were all coffee mugs. It is by the brand Fishes Eddy, and I'll put a picture up here of the label so that you can look for it in the thrift store. When I was looking for sold comps on eBay, I noticed that their coffee mugs were selling for $20 and above, which is a pretty good price for a coffee mug. There are some rare unicorn mugs out there, mugs that people can't find anymore, so they'll turn to eBay to purchase them. So if you ever see this brand in the thrift store, I would definitely look up the item that you have to see if it's worth it. And also if you can get it for a good price as well. So this was a set of cappuccino mugs. They were a solid orange and a solid green. They were footed on the bottom and they had a small little handle. They sold for $25, which was an offer that a customer sent to me. And they sold within a week of me listing them. The next sale is a new with tags Pottery Barn Falling Leaf Brushed Gold Place Card Holders. They were new in package. They even had the little place cards that you put in the holders. I purchased three of these from an estate sale. I really thought that they would sell a lot faster than what they have been. In fact, this is the first one to sell out of the three. So this one sold for $12 with discounted shipping. And then another money clip sold. The same exact one that sold a few sales before, sold for the same price of $11 with discounted shipping. And it's gonna show a different price here just because I had a multiple quantity listing. So whenever something sells, it tells you what it was listed for, not what it actually sold for, but do know that it sold for $11. And then the last sale was a completely free to me item. Technically, it was a free gift with purchase. I purchased a pair of Sanook shoes to wear around the house and within my package they gave me these reusable bamboo silverware utensils with a carrying case they were brand new I never used them I wasn't planning on using them so I listed them on Poshmark and they sold for eight dollars with discounted shipping so of my 13 sales on Poshmark I had two hundred twelve dollars in sales forty eight dollars and ten cents in fees Shipping discounts, I gave out $12.04, giving me a profit of $151.86, and my average sales price was $16.31 for each item that sold. And now moving on to eBay, where I had 21 sales. The first sale was a Banana Republic navy blue floral lace overlay pencil or career skirt. This came out of a thread up rescue box and it sold for $15. Next up was another Land's End swim item. This was a quick drying modest swim board shorts. They were a size 12. They were in a gray, black and white floral pattern and they sold for $20 and they they went all the way to Hawaii. Next up is a White House Black Market Marching Band Military Style Stretch Denim Jacket. It sold for $27. I did end up refunding the customer a few dollars in shipping because when I originally listed the item, I didn't think that I could fit it into a padded flat rate envelope. So I was just going to do a regular priority envelope or box. But when I was packing up the item, I realized that I could. So I did refund the customer a little bit of money. And again, this sold for $27. Next is another item that came out of my Goodwill blue box, and this was an S initial monogrammed rhinestone pendant cable chain necklace. This sold for $7, and I do think that that was an offer that the customer sent to me. But most of the jewelry that I sell, my cost of goods is usually a dollar or under, so I'm perfectly happy selling jewelry items at that low cost. Next is another White House Black Market item. These were the legging faux leather front pants. 
This was the softest vegan leather or faux leather that I've ever personally felt. I actually thought it was real leather, but they were faux. They were in excellent, excellent condition, almost like someone had worn them once or twice and then donated them. And they sold for $42 and that was an offer that I sent to a watcher. Next is a very, very old item that finally sold that I've had since 2019. It was a Nomadic Traders knotted button front cardigan sweater that was a Raimi and cotton blend, and it sold for $4.75. At the beginning of my reselling career, I definitely binged a lot of thrift hauls just to listen for brands, you know, get brand knowledge. I think that I heard something about Nomadic Traders, but I have now learned since then that I shouldn't pick up this brand unless it is a very unique piece. Next is a 1901 back button crew neck multicolored striped light knit sweater. This was a size large. I purchased it from ThreadUp's Outlet Center and it sold for $17.50. Next is another item from my Via Trading Amazon jewelry lot. This was a stepdad of the bride keychain. This would have been a perfect Christmas gift or a gift for a stepfather of a bride who's getting married and it sold for $5.19. Next is another item from the Via Trading Amazon lot. This is a pair of large Christmas tree rhinestone earrings. I mean, these things were like a good two inches long and they definitely had some weight to them. So they are statement earrings for sure. And these sold for $12. Next is a pair of J. Crew flats. These were a quilted faux leather ballet flat. They were a size six and they sold for $16.24. Next was a lot of six vintage Jeanette Depression Pink Glass Cherry Blossom Tumblers. These were from the 1930s or 1940s, I believe. The sold comps for these were literally all over the place. One juice glass was selling for like $12 to $15, but then yet yeah, a set of four were selling for $100. But the glasses that I had were in excellent condition. No chips, no cracks, no scratching, none of that. So I listed a little bit high. I originally listed them for $99.99, but I was running a 35% off sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So they did still sell, but not for as much as I would have liked to, but they sold for $64.99 and the customer paid over $22 in shipping for them. The next item was a lug camper purple travel purse. The brand Lug is a great brand to look out for in the stores. As long as you can get it for under $8, I would say. Normally the items sell for me anywhere from two to three weeks for over $25 to $35, depending on the size and the condition, of course. This one was called the Camper and it sold for $25.99 and that was with the 35% off that I was offering. Next is another purse to sell. I originally picked this up at a consignment store for myself to take thrifting because it was small enough, it was a crossbody, but I just never ended up using it. It literally sat on a counter for months, so I decided to list it and it sold within a week of me listing it. So go figure, right? It was a Paloma Picasso black leather crossbody purse. This did have some issues. There was some glue residue that you could see on the edges on the inside lining. Some of the inside lining was coming out. There was kind of some scratches here and there, but still a very usable leather purse. This brand can do well if you have a unique item and if it's in really good condition. This one only sold for $9.25, but again, it had some condition issues and I only paid $1 for it. So perfectly happy with that. And surprise, another purse sold. This was another Lug branded purse. This was the Swing Maroon Crossbody Travel Purse and this sold for $20.50. And I do think that that was an offer that I sent to the customer in addition to the 35% off I was already running. Next is a J. Jill Wherever Collection Black and Brown Blouse. This was a size small petite and this sold for $10. I think this came out of a thread up box, so I didn't actually source this at a thrift store. Next is another pair of the same Christmas tree earrings that sold previously with the really big rhinestones. And this pair sold for $11.25. Next is a Loft Outlet Rainbow Multicolored Chunky Knit Sweater. This came out of another thread up rescue box and it sold for $10.75. Next is another thread up item, but this one came out of a fun box and it was a Christmas themed fun box. 
This was a St. Nick's Choice white satin quilted silver sequins faux fur Christmas stocking. So a stocking that you would hang on your fireplace and put little stocking stuffers in and it sold for $6.50. Next is a Cole Haan brown, super soft leather doctor bag satchel purse. It had two double handles at the top and it opened up like a doctor's bag would. I purchased this off of Whatnot to resell. I did have this listed higher at $40, but with my 35% off, and then the customer sent me an offer on top of that, we countered back and forth, and it ended up selling for $26. And then the last sale on eBay was a new with tags, Karen Scott, blue seashell printed elbow length sleeve. This was a size 0X. I have no idea how Karen Scott does their sizing, but I don't really see a lot of 0X sizes very often. This sold for $16.99 and that was my full asking price. So of my 21 sales on eBay, I made $373.15 in sales. I made a shipping profit of $48.48 .48 because I actually charge the customer a little bit more than what I have to pay through eBay shipping. So I do make a profit there. Fees were $99.09, .09, giving me a profit of $322.54. My average sales price was $17.77 for each item that sold. And now moving on to my total numbers where I had 35 sales from November 16th through November 30th of 2022, $615.15 .15 in sales, fees and shipping discounts this time was $115.12. My cost of goods was pretty low this time at $123.20, giving me a net profit of $376.83. And my cost of goods for each item that sold was $3.52, which is right underneath that $4 mark that I like to keep it at. Quarter four is notoriously the hardest quarter for resellers who sell used items because most people are looking for Christmas gifts. So that's new tags, item toys, things like that. They're not really looking for those collectibles or used clothing. So I'm very happy with everything that I have sold so far. Sales don't necessarily seem to be overly down right now. So I hope that your sales are doing just as well, or at least just plugging along like they should be. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're not subscribed and you like these What Sold videos, you can hit that subscribe button if you'd like. We would love to have you here. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.